today. Away from that, this weekend's flood has reduced a section of the Accra-bound stretch of the accra Cape Coast Highway from three lanes to one, as about 300 meters of the road is covered with eroded laterite washed down from the Aplaku Hills. Aside from vehicles getting stuck in the mud, uh, there's also damage that has been caused to the section of that stretch. Maxwell Agbaba is live there and joins us now. Hello, Maxwell. <laughs> I'm sure that drivers and commuters on that road are very upset. Bring us up to speed with what's happening now. Hello, Maxwell. Exactly, um, Ben as well. So as you can rightly see, this is the um, Accra bound, this is the Accra bound stretch. Um, so this stretch leads to Accra and is the main um, Accra Cape Coast um, Highway. As you can see, um, all of these vehicles are actually struggling um, to use just one lane of, of this stretch, which is um, more trouble at this point. A huge, I mean, a chunk of the road itself has been covered, you know, with laterite, and that is as a result of the weekend's um, rains. It has also damaged the section of the road, and you can see it is very bumpy, so when the vehicles get there, they would have to take their time to use it. Now, this stretch is not, this is, this is not what this stretch, I mean, was like previously. It was because, um, it has become so because um, of the rains. And uh, we've been standing here for the past one hour and we've actually seen some vehicles, you know, stuck um, in this mud. And it has caused some kind of traffic situation for people um, who are going to the central business district, Accra, and it's, you know, um, environs. Because when they get to this part, they would have to take their time, you know, to use it. And the three lane stretch reduced um, to just um, one. I have some of the residents and motorists here who are very upset about the situation. They say anytime it rains, they have to endure, you know, this um, here. Sir, you're welcome to join us. Yes, um, my name is William. Um, I've lived here for a couple of um, yeah. um, years. Um, the problem is that um, I believe that the west is more. Um, there's a lot of rain coming from the upper part of the landscape. And if you look at, if you look at this place, um, for the past 10, 15 years, this problem wasn't there. So, because the, there has been an increase in population in this area, the water coming from the upper part of the landscape is, comes to, on the main road and then it gets over flooded. And when it gets over flooded, it doesn't have any place to go. Then where does it go? So it comes to all over and go to people's houses. This is the bank and this is another big company here called Atala. They, all these people have come together, they've, they've tried a lot to talk to the, the MP, but they are not doing anything about it. This is very severe and it's critical. Now, the road is, is not, um, uh, uh, you, you can't use the road anymore because the, the, there's a lot of sand coming from the upper part of the road, which, and, and, which is disturbing the, the people in the community. And I believe that this is an inter intercontinental road, which we need to do something about it. Okay. So we believe that the, the DCE, and the MP, and we are appealing to Nanado. This is election year. If he doesn't do anything about it, we are going to block the road and make sure that this thing is solved before election time. Mm. We are serious, and we are not joking at all. Mm. This is what we are saying. Mm. That's it. And what? This, this happens after every rain? Anytime it rains, just for even for, tech, for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, it fl gets flooded all over. And this place becomes not plowable. You, can, you cannot use the road at all. And it becomes a big problem. They cannot do business along the road. And, and it's, it's unfortunate. This, the ministers are all aware about this because they have been plying the road all the time. And we've been talking about it all the time, but they don't do anything about it. So we are, we are appealing to Donato straight from him. The MP, the DC, if he doesn't do anything about it, what we're going to do is that we will block the road and we'll make sure that nobody loses the road again. And this is very serious. We'll make sure that we do that, do that safely so that this place will be more trouble. Right. Let me speak to another man who lives here um, in this um, community who has also witnessed it. Aside from, you know, the flooding in your homes, I'm sure as a citizen of this country, you are equally concerned about how damaged, um, you know, this road is at this point, because a lot of money is spent to construct this. Uh, permit me to speak my local dialect. Well, I have a question. So, I a kid to be first no year road now and to say so. It's a and I was saying, you want me a malam junction, dear no, Cassia Pan on where I was so moving to two 
the free has they say one of the west most uh, west uh, his more no yes it's only in alpha and then you free uh, your friends say uh, red top no okay. in alpha has say so and they convert the answer maybe 15 years in it so and the abba and your baby call no you are for her no more i might if you are in a side yeah about slow way way I, I condemn. Okay. So, man, that you are okay. I condemn. If you are I condemn. So, I so, I condemn. So, it is one more no maybe. There be a it's sort of one more back, one more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no no more, 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 no from, from, from the man, he lives here and is equally concerned about the situation, talking about a flood and situation, you know, um, on the stretch. Um, there's another gentleman who works here who wants to talk to us. Um, sir, you're welcome to join us. Yes, please, I can speak Ga so that you can hear me all. Oh, oh you are speaking good English, so let's speak English. Oh, let, 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 let me speak the Ga so that uh, okay, the others can hear. Can you position yourself here? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I bear it. Hey, can you bear it? Nuna start a kebon be a neighbor. The neighbor fake by a fan, you can shear can be a fair care, do flower, can you be a neighbor? Can you go on and over and watch shear, come back by me? Can you add there, Cadenine, a more now fair demo, more hill and not fair demo, Cadenu as a fair, Cadet Red Top, to back by Brock Factory Fair, Demo by Fair, Be no affair, got a better man, be a no new caba. And what one pack of matter fight? No need a few or what I can learn to look at. As I need then I can in a few lower back. If it won't be washing me, what changing can be fair, low fair, can ya? Toilet can be fair by our banner. A while quite. A while can I one district and a town make a fair labor fair hour? Cadena, our vote to wake up a beer. Okay. Well, essentially, uh, what he's saying in Ghana uh, is that he's saying they've, they've, they've appealed to the authorities to fix the situation here, but it looks like they're not really doing much um, to. To, to resolve, you know, um, the situation here. So he's saying that if they do not, uh, if they don't make sure that they fix this problem, they shouldn't come here because they are not going to vote. So Ben is basically, um, this is it. The pedestrian, you know, walkway here, completely covered in latrites. You cannot, you cannot even walk on this stretch. I mean, for people who want to walk on the side of the road, they cannot. Even for vehicles, you know, using uh, the routes, like I already mentioned. The three lane has been reduced to two and then one at a section, um, causing some kind of traffic situation here. The road has been damaged. It has become bumpy now. If you do not take your time, you get stuck on this um, highway. That's the situation here, Benes. Thank you very much, Maxwell Agbagba, uh, reporting live from one community to the other.